to have Lindsay Felch, former on-air talent for us here. You've yeah. gone on to bigger and better things, and we've kind of followed each other through some of the social media. It's just, it's, like I said, you're one of my favorite people oh. in the 12, <laughs> 13 years I've been here that worked here. I really, and Nate and I were just saying that. You always were just so fun to work with, and you did such a good job, and had such a good presence on air, and then behind the camera, you're just fun. You're just cool. Well, thanks. It's really good to be back, yeah. and I definitely miss it a lot. I mean, just being back in Tahoe is so amazing to see you guys, and be with the fam. Yeah, and you've moved around a little bit. You went to Southern Cal, and now you're now you're back into San Francisco. I'm in San Francisco, yeah. Yeah, and you've landed this really unique opportunity. It sounds like with the Americas Cup. Yeah, and let me tell you, persistence is key. Yes. So I um I emailed everyone. I found out the Americas Cup was coming to San Francisco. It has been known for about a year, and my dad has been an active sailor. I've grown up sailing here on Tahoe. And I figured out, you know, it's it's a great sport and it's new for a lot of generations. Uh -huh, so I yeah. wanted to get involved. And I, I mean, this it's gone on for a long time. Right? The oh, American yeah. Cup is an old race. Old sport, old race. Uh -huh. And now it's coming to San Francisco. Yeah. So you did something really, which is kind of your personality, which is so <laughs> awesome. And when you left here, I remember like us having the goodbyes and me going, you're going to go somewhere good. You're <laughs> going to do something good. It's your it's your persistence that's that's really gotten you into this position. Well, I mean, what? How did you find out about it, and how? And what did you? How many times did you call, email, <laughs> text, whatever you did to get this this position? I mean, I mean, you know, it's a tough industry. It really is. I mean, everyone wants to be out there interviewing the next hot celebrity or mm -hmm. athlete. So, I found out, like I said, the America's Cup was coming to San Francisco, and I had gone with my mom and dad and boyfriend and family to the first race in San Francisco and said, "Oh." I have to get involved. This is awesome. So I went on their website and literally emailed every single media contact there was. Probably about 50 people, and I only heard back from one person. And it's all you needed <laughs> and was the one person. And from there, yeah, he was actually the director, George Johns, of the America's Cup Digital Boathouse. And he emailed me and said he wanted to bring me on as a guest reporter behind the scenes and tell my story from there. Let's take a look at the trailer. This week on America's Cup Discovered, we bring you the latest development with the Red Bull Youth America's Cup and give you a beginner's guide to getting involved. From Stockholm to San Francisco, six young sailors go behind the scenes with Artemis Racing and proving persistence is key. Extreme Sports presenter Lindsay Felsch is rewarded for her efforts by getting to make her own behind the scenes feature. We also meet the Waste Busters, as well as Luna Ross's latest recruit, Swordfish Helmsman, Iker Martinez. So, so it looks like basically what you're doing is you're going behind the scenes of, of like you said, maybe a bit of a misunderstood sport. Right, and, right. And, and trying to give it to layman people like us to go, hey, this is what's going on. The thing that, that, that occurs to me when I watch that that seems surprising is they're showing all these sailors mm -hmm. working out in the gym and running. It's a very, very athletic sport. I mean, it's absolutely insane. They're racing on 72-foot catamarans. And, you know, it takes a lot. You're pulling in the sail, pulling in the main. You have to be really Can't strong Can't they just get a athletic. computer system now that somebody just sits there and dials it in? <laughs> I, I mean, mean, probably with technology. They sure seems like that's what they would do nowadays, yeah. huh? But that's, that's not the tradition of sailing, right? right, right? I mean, right. I guess that's, that's the main it's thing. It's all hands on deck. Yeah, right? <laughs> literally. <laughs> what, what uh, I mean, you grew up sailing, but but is there something that you've seen in getting behind the scenes and doing this that you just went, oh my god, I had no idea it was like this. Um, I mean, just the different types of you know athleticism it takes, um, the different types of people that are involved in the sport. I mean, there's actually a lot of not necessarily on the America's Cup team, but there's a lot of women out there who are very much involved in the training aspect of it and also who you know go on the boats and train with them as well which mm -hmm. is really awesome to see i mean you know yeah it's great to see women athletes out there enjoying the sport and just hanging right in there with the yeah. guys and are there are there um like really stringent uh categories of what a boat has to have it can't have that it has, like, like they have like say a nascar where it's right down to 
I mean, you can use this kind of screw, but you can't use that kind. I mean, I mean, they there was a whole huge process in deciding what um, types of boats they were going to be racing this year. And Larry Ellison, who is the owner of the Oracle Team USA, um, was the one who decided that. So they decided this year that they were going to be racing a double hull, which is a catamaran, mm -hmm. and um, 72 foot, which is out of this world. They're not amazing. all the same length? They are. Oh, so they are every all, okay. single boat has to be up to those standards. And last year, for example, they raced trimarans, which were just as big. I mean, mm -hmm. I believe they were 92 feet. So wow. these wow, boats are big. huge. I mean, there's 11 and people. And how fast do they go? I have no idea. Oh, I'm, I mean, 30, up to 30 knots. I mean, pretty, pretty how fast. How fast is a knot? I don't know the sailing time. <laughs> <laughs> it's fast. Let's just yeah, say yeah, they're yeah. soaring. Yeah, it's faster they... than 30 miles an hour. That's I do know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which seems really fast. And it's great, you know, seeing them in San Francisco out underneath the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. And it's cool that it's coming here. Yeah. So it'll be in San Francisco uh, coming up in August sometime. Mm -hmm. And is there like a better place than, than, than others to watch the, the race from? Chrissy, I mean, it's great to watch it on TV. They have cameras right, right on board. Yeah. Um, and then also right in Chrissy Field, um, down there at um, no Marina kidding. Green. Right they there. have a whole little village set up, um, which if you go on to YouTube and you watch my video, I do a little bit of interviews in Chrissy Field and in the um, Marina Green Village. Mm -hmm. And you'll, I, so. I imagine you'll continue to put, put out and produce these, these videos, vignettes behind the scenes of what's going on. That's the goal. I That's mean, I'm trying to get as best of a reaction from the viewers and the audience as I can. So make sure everyone goes on to YouTube and watches the actual video uh -huh. um, for the 63 America's Cup teaser that I'm in. Um, and as many views as I get is is better. Yeah, I always enjoy that. I think I think as much as, as anything to, to find a sport that you don't know much about and to have those little vignettes that go behind the scenes and explain Stuff right. that, you just, that you otherwise wouldn't pick up on watching right. the sport or, or not know anything right. about it. So, uh, Lindsay Felch on air at, at Facebook. Facebook, yeah. Simple and then you can, I also have a YouTube page where the video is on as well. And yeah, if you follow me on Facebook or Twitter, I have a Twitter account at L Felch. Um, I'll be following the Mayor's Cup and my journey to get there next year. Right so on. make well, sure you watch the video. It's awesome to have you back in here. Yeah. Uh, family's good down in Reno family's still? Family's good. No, they're in North Shore. In North Shore. And, yeah. and everybody, you get together for Thanksgiving yeah. with them? Yeah. Well, how convenient. Yes. <laughs> Lindsay Felch uh, on air, on Facebook, covering the America's Cup. We'll take a quick break and be back with more. Great.